I'm back out at Kevin's uh, site where he's harvesting the trees in his plantation and just wanted people to see what it looks like in terms of uh, the fact that they've already started scraping the soil off and you can start to see this uh, sand that they're trying to uh, get out of the ground. It's going to become a sand pit. So that's pretty incredible and over here you can see the amount of lumber that's actually coming off this plantation. Kevin said that there's probably 10 trucks, tandem trailer log hauling trucks sitting there in front of you right now. And depending on the diameter of the log, it'll be anywhere from 8, 10, or 12 feet in length. Numerous truckloads have already come and gone in terms of loads of logs that have headed off to the, the lumber mill. So in this 40 acres, I mean, I have no idea what the actual quantity is, but uh, Kevin has harvested quite a bit with his uh, Valmet six-wheeled harvester, and the other machine he has is a forwarder. So two individuals, Kevin and his employee, are able to harvest all this lumber, I'm going to say over a two month period, it might be longer. These logs are headed off to a serious lumber processing mill, uh, I think it's about an hour and a half to two hours from here. So if you are buying 2x4s, 2x6s for various projects around your home this summer or in the coming year, you may very well be using the wood products that have come out of this harvesting operation. The change in landscape since I was last on this site is also remarkable. The work done by the excavation crew in removing the stumps and starting to move forward with taking off the topsoil is astounding quite frankly. The ground is smooth and you're also starting to see in certain areas the topsoil removed revealing the sand beneath, which is what the purpose of this operation is. It's to create a sand pit. As you've seen earlier in the video and from this photo here, Kevin and his team are running a serious operation. You can't get these sorts of piles of logs unless you have some serious equipment. It has been an incredible learning experience to follow Kevin in the bush with his team to see how they turn standing timber into logs that I then mill and others mill into wood products. And that's it for this two video series following Kevin in the bush as he brings down trees and turns them into logs for milling. I'll probably catch up with Kevin at some other bush at some future date, but I won't be coming back to this one. Hey. If you like the videos, please subscribe, like, and share, and hope you come back for future videos.